Captain, sorry I've been off the grid. Any new intel? No, we've got nothing. <coughs> Are you all right? I mean... <coughs> I'm sick. Everyone is now. My guys all went home to be with their families. I didn't see any reason to stop them. Hey, come on. I've never known you to give up. We can do this. It'll be okay. I don't believe that anymore. I did everything I knew how to do. Gave all I had and things just got worse. It's over. I'm going to my mom's. She's got it too. She's a widow and no one should be alone when... when... I understand. Go. Yuri, thanks for all your help. And thanks for being a friend. Did the impossible, Doc. But now I have to destroy it. With a little creation of my own. to beg? Not gonna happen! <laughs> the world will know the truth before they mop you off the pavement. <laughs> Tell them what you did! I... never... <laughs> Everything you have is built on lies! Lies! <laughs> You stole my company, my ideas. Now, the truth. The truth. Okay. The truth is, you were only ever worth a damn when you worked for me. The truth is, you could never accept that I'm better than you. You're a failure, Otto. And you always will be. Alright then, Otto. Howdy, partners and Spidey Squad members. My name is Mikhail Khan Lake, and I think I just messed up the intro yet again. Howdy, pop culture partners and Spidey Squad members is what I meant to say. My name is Mikhail Khan Lake, and welcome to the finale of Marvel's Spider Man. It's been one heck of a journey, and we're finally here. 
We're finally here, getting our butt whooped apparently. Woo okay. Whoa, okay, missed. Uh. Oh. Come on, come on, Otto, please. Yes. The cinematography of this fight is so amazing. Except for the part that gets me killed. Okay. You do? I mean, you don't? I mean, seems like you've got a lot of weakness or electricity. Not my best one liners for this final fight. But this one is emotional, I mean, we're finding our long-time partner! Our father figure, almost! Gah! Stop this now, Otto! This won't help anyone! And you know it! People are dying! They need the anti-serum now! Exactly! Okay. But guys, I swear, I'm totally honest when I say that this has been one amazing journey with you guys to my favorite game of all time. And let's end this with a heck of a bang. Infinite bombs. Let's go. How much is I don't. You wanted to help people. Do the right thing by not killing them. Come on, man. Please. Duh. And the music and everything in this final fight, the cinematography, the emotion behind it, god, uh, just... And we're not even getting started. No! Ah, uh, nuts. The web shooters do make half of the spider, man. Yeah. Such a disappointment, Parker. Oh my lord! You know. You knew. I tried to warn you, Peter, but you didn't listen. You knew. I won't let you win. <laughs> He knew the whole time, heard us the it whole time, knowing we were me. Peter. Not more than it means to me. Ah, let's get him. He doesn't deserve forgiveness anymore. Woo! <laughs> Look at that cinematography, dude. This is epic in every single way. Explosions, side of a building, stories upon stories high. Trust me, Otto, we've suffered more than you ever could. And we still did the right thing no matter what. Dude. Come on! Oh, I love that move! Listen to the music, dude! Come on, this is epic! Enough, Otto, please! Think of the man you were! That man is gone. You can't save me, Peter! Then I guess you'll have to save yourself! 
Come on, get him! You did! You know how much we cared for you? And everything! You have no idea how much we care for you, Otto. And this is how you repay us, the city. You look tired, Parker. Not tired. Just hurt. Oh, what a comeback. Come on. Oh my god! Oh wow! This went so dark. You have to be the kind of man who can make the hardest decisions. I couldn't agree more. Oh! Oh my god, that went through his entire chest! Oh, you gotta get it. Woo! Let's go! Son, I should have known you turn on me, just like all the others. Turn? Turn? I've worshipped you, your mind, your conscience, wanting to help others, the way you never gave up. That's because men like us have a duty, a responsibility, to use our talents in the service of others. Even if they don't appreciate it, we have to do what's best for those beneath us, whether they understand it or not. No, you're wrong! You are everything I wanted to be! You just threw it away! Yes, of course. You're right, Peter. Oh, I see that now. The neural interface affected my mind. But I can fix it. We can fix it together. If you'll help me, do everything I can. I'll make sure you get the best help. No! If they put me away, they'll take my arms! I'll be trapped in this useless body! Please, Peter. That wasn't me. You said you'd never abandon me. You promised. Remember? And of course, you rest easy, knowing your secret is safe with me. You do what you think is best, Doc. It's all any of us can. Peter? Even when it hurts like hell. Peter, where are you going? Peter? Give these two an Oscar already! Oh my god! S Peter and Otto's relationship is one of the peaks of the game, seriously. All this build-up, all those cutscenes with them, to this final moment. Spider-Man and Doc Ock, as well as Peter Parker and Dr. Otto Octavius. I'll talk more about that later. For now, uh, I don't think I can go through this one again.
it's still viable. We'll need the entire sample as a base to produce more doses. How long will that take? A few hours. Maybe a day. What if we use it to cure someone right now? Then there won't be enough to cure the others. I'll give you a few minutes. You're gonna be okay, ma'am. I've got the cure right here. Take off your mask. I wanna see my nephew. You knew? I've known for a while. I never wanted you to work. I did. And I am so proud of you. And then put me too. All the people you've saved. I don't know what to do. Yes, you do. that hits deep dude this game goes so dark in the ending wow wow that's sad wow that entire I, I'll, I'll talk again I don't really want to talk over these good cutscenes I'll talk about that entire ending um, after the actual ending I just don't want to ruin these cutscenes for you guys So? Hi, Mary Jane Watson, associate editor. Congrats. Thank you. I knew you could do it. <laughs> what about you? Find a job yet? Oh, no, but uh... I'll be right with you, honey. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I was actually considering maybe a career change. Hmm? Yeah, I think I might want to become a chef. <laughs> I'm sorry, no, it's... You're a scientist. A good one. Yeah, the last project I worked on, I created a monster octopus that almost destroyed the city, so... Yeah. 
I mean, you do make a hell of a chicken curry. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Still working on my dumplings, though. Going camping? Oh, uh, my uh, new place isn't going to be ready for about a week, so I'm going to be crashing with Miles for the next few nights. Oh. You know, you can always stay at my place. Only if you want to. No, I, I mean, I mean, I mean, yes, I mean, no, no, I don't I not want to, but meaning I, I, I do want to, but. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. I love Peter so much. I never stopped wanting to. Me neither. Ah, oh, what a nice ending. Cue the music. Woo! Yes! Oh, we did it, guys. We did it, we did it, we did it. Marvel Spider-Man is now finished. At least the main story. Ha! Oh, wow. Almost a year later. If you guys have stayed for a while, I, I started part one on New Year's Eve of 2019. Like, I started it on New Year's. Actually, not New Year's Eve, New Year's. Precisely at midnight my time. And now it's almost December, and this is when I finished the game. That is crazy, man. Wow, okay, so I guess I'll start giving my thoughts during these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful credits. As I was saying, I guess I'll, I'll um, finish what I was saying before. Spider-Man and Otto, like, Spider-Man and Dr. Octopus. Peter and Otto's relationship is one of the best parts of the game. It's one of the most important. Without the game, you'll be caring about Doc. You'll be seeing their relationship grow, how they care for each other and everything. And then you see Otto go down this horrific dark path and you want to help him. But you see just how far he's gone and in the end, you're going to have to leave him be behind. And the acting! William Sawyer's and Yuri, Yuri Lowenthal's acting are Oscar worthy. Seriously. Their interactions together are some of the best I see from, from acting in the game. It is beautiful. The way Otto, like, cl like, cling clings to Peter at the very end, like he's begging him, like, you said you'd never abandon me, you promised, remember? You can't help but cry because you, Peter probably doesn't even know what to do. As Peter, yes, he'd be there for Otto, but for Spider-Man, he has to put him away. And when Otto says, they'll take my arms, I'll be trapped in this useless body, he doesn't even care about his body anymore. He only thinks of himself powerful when he has the mechanical arms. That is really, really deep, man. Super, super deep. And that whole payoff, that entire ending, is so good. And wow, it got dark. And just, oh, the new suit, the music, really good. And that ending with Aunt May, that is just, fu like, when I first completed it, more than a year ago, when I completed it for my very first time, the writing and everything was so good, I felt like it was me that that got Aunt May. Like, I feel like it was because of me. Maybe I was too late to get the anti-serum. I, myself, felt super guilty that she passed away. I thought it was my fault. That is excellent writing. You might call that weird, freakish. I call that phenomenal writing. It actually made me feel guilty, and... The payoff is just, people say that it was just there to make like a good ending or just to add emotion. It was built through the entire game. Honestly, like, Emmy shows her love to you, to Miles, to everyone. She shows just how much of a good person she is, willing to always do. She could, she is probably one of the biggest superheroes in this game, and she doesn't even have superpowers. Like, and just seeing that all, and she's, does, she doesn't even mind, and she knew that who Peter was. She kept it from him all this time. Ugh. Okay, I'm not done, but a hey, what what an end to the credits, first of all, and also there is something coming up right here, so let's I'm check not that out. Or anything, but I think it's in the way that you ask her. I'm getting too nervous. <laughs> hey, all right. So where do you want this? Uh, right over here is fine. All right. Hey, so Pete? Yeah. I, uh, kinda gotta talk to you about something I can't tell my mom about. What's up? Well, um... Weird things have been going on. Like, physically. Oh. 
Oh. Uh. Well, you know, you're at that age where where your your body starts to change, and so you may be noticing some areas. No. For example. Not that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, this, I don't know. That gets me so good. He's better that I just um. I show you. I show no. you. No, 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 no. Hey, let's hey, go. We got another great Miles Morales story coming up, everybody. Let's go. And cue the music again. A nice. Wow. Okay, so let me finish up about my thoughts on the ending. The fact that Atme knew who Peter was and reveals it at the end just makes it so much more emotional. She mentions Uncle Ben and everything. And then Peter says he clearly knows what to do. But just like he... <sighs> Actually, I wouldn't know. Would you guys know what to do and then just say you don't just like that? It happens. There's no explanation. You do know what to do, but you'll just say you don't. Peter probably already knew what to do and just had to say that to Anne May. He probably really did not know. Maybe he did. I'm not sure. But that's not the, the, the point. Sorry. The point was Anne May did not, like, mind whatsoever and let Peter... Like, she told him, yes, you do. You do know the right thing to do. And she sacrificed herself to save the city. Peter made literally the hardest choice. He had to sacrifice, like, the last person in his family. He is all alone. He is all alone now. He only has his friends, but he has basically no more family. That is really dark. Like, wow, that is... That's deep. And she, and she even sacrificed herself, so Spider-Man and Aunt May both saved the city. She sacrificed herself to save millions of lives. And again, the build-up was so good, and the emotion, the music, the acting, the tone, and that final cut where it cuts the black and the heart monitor stops. Well, it, it flatlines, I mean. That is so deep. So now I guess I'll get into my review part of the game, uh, just talking about it and uh, stuff. I guess I'll start with what I don't really like. Um, the boss fights and the set pieces. The set pieces are great. I just feel like there aren't enough of them. I was really excited about this game because one of the first things they mentioned was that Spider-Man was going to be experiencing um, action sequences and action set pieces and everything and after playing Uncharted I really love like big action set pieces like from the Maze Runner series from those big action stuff Marvel and from Uncharted where it's very realistic but also super actiony and really really well done I was expecting some big stuff and they didn't really exceed my expectations I really wanted more um, like, I wanted more um, in, like, number, more to happen throughout the story, but also um, more dynamic stuff in it and more control over it and because they were incredibly scripted. And so um, there's that. The boss fights. The boss fights were kind of good. They didn't really uh, vary. I wish there were more in different and various ways for each boss fight. And... They were really um, far, like, pa paced out. The pacing between boss fights was kind of weird. I really wish there were more and better proper ones. So there's that, but they're still kind of fun. Um, what else? Ah, yes, the Peter Parker segments. I was super hyped to see that they were really, that Insomniac was really putting attention into Peter Parker's story and seeing how much he was, like... He, how much of him is going, was going to be in this game, and I was super hyped about that. I was kind of disappointed with uh, what we got. Like, I think he's only playable kind of through, like, Feast. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, of course, but, like, the only moments you can play as him are in Feast, and those are kind of short, and I just wish you could do more as him. Maybe not free roam, just more depth, more to do as Peter. More story moments as Peter. I really wish there were more of those and better... And yeah, the, lots of people hate the Miles and MJ missions. I don't really hate them. Like, I mean, once you've, like, mastered them, you can 
grind them super quick and get back to the Spider-Man stuff, to be honest. But yeah, better mechanics, better control over them would be better. But I think the best paced one ones would be um, Miles uh, at City Hall, at the City Hall bombing. The fact that you were Spider-Man just minutes before and then it brought you really down level, powerless, a, a teenager, a powerless teenager who is among a freaking city bombing. That was perfect. Absolutely perfect, I would have to say. Um, best MJ would, mission would have to be Oscorp Tower, like the emotion behind that with Harry and the attention to detail in that place and the s shots and the lighting were really good. So I guess those are my flaws. Now to the pros, of course. First, I'll have to mention this, the music. Just listen to this. John Paisano, my man, did a phenomenal job with this score. He made such an iconic and mo modern type of Spider-Man score, which is so heroic, so like iconic, like, as I said, very mixed, like the different themes are so incredible, the, the demons and Mr. Negative themes, Doc Ock's theme, Spider-Man's theme, you can hear the same kind of notes going throughout when he's in combat, when he's, when he's in very emotional moments, when he's swinging around, it's so good, it really makes you feel heroic and a bit like Spider-Man, and it's just... So well done, I love the techno bits, I love the really classic instrument mit bits, and just when it's super loud, heroic, etc. He did a phenomenal job, and like, ever since I've listened to this, I can't stop humming, like, some themes almost daily of this game. He really made it so well, he crafted it so well, and uh, just make made it super, super, super iconic, and he, with this game, he turned into my favorite composer of all time. And it's funny because before this, I only listened to his Maze Runner trilogy work, which was really cool. And he also made a pretty dope soundtrack for Marcus in Detroit Become Human. I also really like that. But then listening to this just topped the cake. And he really turned into my favorite um, composer of all time. So there's that, the, the acting and the cast. The cast was so good. Yuri Lowenthal is Spider-Man. You will see him, listen to him, and you will just... You won't hear someone trying to be Spider-Man or just a bad version or anything. This voice, of sp uh, this voice, you really want those voice will stick in your head and everywhere you read Spider-Man and stuff like that, you'll hear that voice. It is so iconic, he delivers every single line perfectly from emotional to jokes to being like any type of emotion he delivers perfectly. William Soliers as Doc Ock, I already talked about that before, he was phenomenal, their acting together was so good. And thanks to him and this version of Doc Ock, they both made Doc Ock my favorite Spider-Man villain ever. Uh, um, Stephen O. Young as Mr. Negative, that was super, super great. He also, um, you know, did some choreography for this, because I know he's good with swords and stuff like that. And he did a phenomenal job as Mr. Negative, and I love what they did. They brought Mr. Negative, a new and rare villain, and put him in the spotlight in this game in one of the best ways possible. And I really, um, and wait, probably shouldn't mention that. <laughs> shouldn't mention that until later. Uh, Laura Bailey is MJ. At first, I was skeptical because I thought, really, Laura Bailey again? I mean, I get it. She's a good voice actress, but can we get someone a little different? But you know what? She actually grew on me. She is, she's actually a really cool um, version of MJ. And uh, I really, really like her. Uh, pff, like May Parker, uh, I, I, uh, some <laughs> I will forget. Uh, but the main voice actors and lots of side uh, voice actors. The one for J. Jonah Jameson, uh, Yuri Watanabe, for example, Miles, like I said, and May. Some of the villains, especially Electro, Josh Keaton, of course, uh, coming back. And uh, Black Cat, we'll see her again. Um, I also forgot her name. I'm so sorry that I forgot some of the names. But all their voice acting is super dope and iconic. They really, like, brought good voice actors for the job, I would have to say, who are really, really good at what they do. And uh, we'll just be seeing more of them as we go on. And the voice acting and everything is good, like I said. Uh, the story. This game has some of the best writing, attention to detail to lots of parts of the story, and just, it's such a good, well-crafted Spider-Man story. Like, the fact that it's set when Spider-Man is in his prime is perfect, it's a little new, uh, it's much better than a new origin story. I love that they sh just shove you right into the story, just giving you tiny hints of what's happened in the past for you to learn. It's, that's literally perfect. 
Spider-Man has already experienced everything. It's really... I, I know this sounds weird, but it's almost as if it was giving it to us gamers. We've known Spider-Man for so long, for all our lives, and the, all, the two plus years hype of this game felt like that. Like, we already knew who Spider-Man was, everything. They, j di they just dive us right in uh, at the beginning of the game, and it feels like all that weight, all that hype was the years going by in Spider-Man's career, and then it's launched right in the middle like that. I know that sounds weird. I tried to explain that, but... The writing, like I said, there's some of the best one-liners in this game. And the story is so well-crafted. Sinister Six appearing only eight years after Spider-Man uh, is born. Uh, Doc Ock, like, the story is so good. Most of the villains... Uh, oh yeah, and I will go back to some of my critiques, actually. It goes back to the boss fights. The villains, I wish that some were well-crafted. Mr. Negative and, like, Doc Ock. Hands down, the best part... The best villains of the game, honestly. Like, I'll go into that in just a minute. But the others, they didn't really have, like... Yeah, they hit Spider-Man and, and they're bad guys, but what motive did they have? Most of what Doc told them wasn't really possible and stuff. Like, I wish there was more stuff behind them. Like, I love that Vulture has spinal cancer. That could have been something that we could really dive into, but they didn't do that. So I wish there was more story behind that, but Mr. Negative and Doc Ock both, both having big reasons to hate Norman Osborn and why they would do these things is really well done. Like, okay, no, not at all, it's not justified, but it's such a good reason behind that. And it's a well, such a well-crafted story. Everything builds up and everything, and there's that. Uh, next, the gameplay. Holy crap, the gameplay. The web swinging and combat is so so amazing it really I, I hate i hate to say it and sound cliche it makes you feel like spider-man it's just right the animations the feeling the weight behind everything like the swinging is so good the amount of options you have are pretty good and i wish they're ah can't say this yet i i'm sorry i keep forgetting i mentioned some stuff after the the but they're pretty good animations the mechanics you have and you really feel like you can go almost anywhere any direction you have most control over everything and it just looks so badass same thing for the combat i love the combat because of how much you can do you can go into the air you can literally like connect so many different like combos and make almost every single fight feel unique and with the gadgets are they're pretty cool yeah some are op or not spider-man but most of them are really really cool one of my favorites the trip mine web bomb and uh like most of them are pretty cool and again, like, the animations, the satisfying hits in the combat, and the different enemies you'll have. And just as you discover throughout the game, it's super satisfying as you go through it. It's really, really good, and again, it feels perfect. Like, people kept comparing it to Arkham. It's not Arkham. Not at all. The buttons are really different, and I've seen, like, people who have a hard time comparing them and, like, going maybe from one game to another. They screw up sometimes, and, like, it's not the same. You can't really compare. Spider-Man and Batman are totally different. Spider-Man is much faster. He can, like, go into the air. He has much more strength, so he can do more of those things. Batman is much more strategic and uh, much more precise. And I just prefer this combat because it doesn't quit your combo, like, three microseconds after you don't do anything. At least you have a chance. And here, it's not just of a ring. Uh, if you will, it's not just a flat surface. Here you can jump up. It's like a platformer. You can really go everywhere in the combat. And yeah, some calmer mo there are some calmer moments in the gameplay. They're good, but really it's the Spider-Man combat that makes it good. The stealth, I will have to say, is a bit of a bummer. I really wish it, it's, it, that it was much better, much more crafted. Um, so there's that. But other than that, like I said, combat swinging really doesn't get old. It's really good. And uh, I love it to death. Um, like the graphics, the graphics. Th this is one of the some of the best graphics I've ever seen. It's one of the prettiest looking games I've ever played in my life. The city, the character designs, the like, the suits, the materials, the detail of the entire city. The again, I said I probably already said the lighting. It is gorgeous. Upon anything else to look at, and. Honestly, you'll find little moments to take photo mode. I also love the photo mode. Just a little detail to say. I love the photo mode. I've used it for about more than a year. It's super good. And uh, I really hope that so, uh, whoever, uh, you guys who have played it, 
have also really enjoyed the photo mode because the graphics really help with the photo mode, I would have to say. So there's the graphics. Uh, I'm trying to look for anything else uh, big that I can talk about. I guess behind the game and also, you know, the devs, like Brian Interhard gets Spider-Man so well and everyone, this is really what you need to make a good game. Many of the people who are making the game need to be passionate about this character, this universe, whatever they're working on, they need to be super passionate about it. And that's really what made this such a huge love letter to Spider-Man fans. It was made from the fans for the fans precisely and the development team honestly did such an amazing job. Um, uh, what was the other thing? Ah, yes, behind the game. Like, this was shown off, and then the wonderful Evan Falarka started making uh, videos behind it, analyzing almost every detail. It was amazing. I loved... Like, I was there from the beginning to watch his channel way back in 2016. I watched every single one of his videos, like, talking about what he thinks will be in the game, ideas behind it, and everything, all the way to his reactions until he became mostly uh, big nowadays in the Spider-Man community, I would have to say. And I joined the Spidey Squad back in, uh, like, late 2017 and stuff. That was really nice. Um, and why do I keep stuttering? Sorry, um, it's because my dog is actually crying. He needs to go out, so I need to take him out once I'm done. So he's kind of distracting me, sorry. But... Uh, uh, how could I miss up? What was I talking about? Ah, uh, uh, yes. So, yeah, and I joined the Spidey Squad. They were like a family to me. I finally met people who were like me, passionate like me, and it was one of the best feelings and journeys I've ever had. Like, the journey towards, like, the release of this game and then playing the game, talking about it to everyone, and we're still talking about it to this day. And I have so many friends, thanks to the Spidey Squad. I've met so many countless amazing individuals who are so so nice so such good friends and yeah so that's good the journey to this game and all those reasons uh, all those like uh, pros combined make this my favorite game of all time and without further ado ladies and gentlemen let's go on to the final part of this amazing amazing finale So close. But I'll keep trying. I will find a cure. I will. I love you, son. Cool. Man, that feels good to say. I cannot believe that Venom and Harry are going to be in the sequel. And everything before, when I was talking about the game, when I said, okay, I should, probably shouldn't mention that, I was talking about it being in the sequel, more improved, more developed in the sequel. That's what I uh, kept saying. Okay, I should probably talk about that after and not mention. That's what I kept saying. This game has already have like, th there's stuff and, like, tidbits from the developer saying that a sequel is already in development and I'm so hyped like from this from that after credit scene alone it really proves that there's going to be a sequel and I am beyond hyped for it wow man that felt good again like that final cutscene the emotion behind Norman seeing that Harry after all this time it actually shows that he isn't in Europe he is actually has actually been here for the past year in that tank with with what looks to be the symbiote almost. So that is amazing and wow. So congratulations, you have finished the main story in New Game Plus. 
Great job, hero. And of course, the anti ox suit unlocked. Yuri, so you're back. Oh, How's Yuri. Fine. Right back to complaining about not having grandchildren. <laughs> so, can I take that vacation now? Are you crazy? There's no time for that. The apocalypse didn't happen, which means we've got a city full of loose ends to clean up. Sounds like a big job, but we're up to it. Not you. For a job this tough, we need Spider Cop. Hey, she said it. You said it. Yeah. You the voice. <laughs> okay, don't make it weird. You like me. You really like me. You made it weird. Let's go. We've got work to do. Hey. Can't wait. Spider Cop surveys the city, placid but seething with turmoil just beneath its calm surface. Uh, what have I done? <laughs> So this isn't the end of Spider-Man content whatsoever, trust me. Um, we'll be doing the City That Never Sleeps soon after this. Um, no, actually first we, we have to 100% complete everything in the main um, you know, save file. Uh, of course in the normal open world, then we will be going on to doing the City That Never Sleeps. So still Spider-Man content to come. And uh, I, uh, of course, I say this every time, but I still hope you're enjoying Spider-Man content on the channel. Because I sure am. So, if you enjoyed this, Epic video, blast that like and subscribe button, it shows your support, which I highly appreciate. And uh, yeah guys, have a wonderful morning, day, evening, whichever, be greater, and peace out guys, see you next time.